Hello YouTube, my name is Daniel and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how we can use the Android library Volley to retrieve data from a remote API. Firstly, in order to get Volley working you will need to add the dependency. So just like I've done down here, I've added it in my build.gradle file. Next you will need to create a class where you will need to handle all of your API requests. I have called this Volley API client. And I've got two requests in here, which I have to find an interface for, which is get Pokemon list, as we are going to be retrieving a list of Pokemon, and a detail list, which is the Pokemon details. And this will take an ID as a parameter and will return all the details for our Pokemon. I've already set up the data classes needed to retrieve these data. So firstly, I have the Pokemon list item, which has a count, a <coughs> which has a list of the Pokemon, and that just contains the name and the URL of that Pokemon. We then have the Pokemon detail item, which has all the details for that Pokemon here. Um, so before you get started, you will need to add in your data classes for the responses um, that you are getting from the API. So you will need to have all of the fields here, like the serialized name, and just have it in a data class. Next, you will need to provide the Volley API client to your app using um, dependency injection or by just initializing it as a variable. Um, I can show you how I've done that with Hilt here. So in my app module, when I'm providing my Pokemon API, I'm passing the application context and we're using the interface here, poke API. And at the end of that, I am providing my Volley API client and just passing in the context. And this is the interface here, which was originally used for retrofit, um, but I'm now repurposing this to use Volley. And it just outlines the functions that we need to override and provide the implementation for. And that is get Pokemon list and get Pokemon detail. Right, so to get started, we need to create a queue for our requests. We will call that queue. And that is going to equal volley dot new request. And then we can pass in the context. We then need the URL for the request, and that will be HTTPS poke api dot co slash api slash v2 slash pokemon and you will need to add in your own url here now we can define our request and this will be a string request because we want our data to be returned as a string and we will then pass that into json and into our pokemon list item data class we then can open the brackets. And now we need to provide the method for our, <clears throat> and now we need to provide the method for our API request. This will be a get method. So we can provide request dot method dot get, and then the URL. And now we need to provide our listener to get the response. So I'll leave response here. And we also need to provide the error listener, which is this here. Now the first thing we need to do in the response is we need to pass the data into JSON. We should probably wrap this in a try catch block just in case there is an exception when passing the JSON um, from the API. So I'm going to create that now. So try catch. And now we can retrieve the Pokemon item using JSON. So JSON from JSON string. And then we can pass in the string. And the class that we want to get the data from. 
and the class that we want to pass the JSON into. And this is our Pokemon list item class. So Pokemon list item class.java. And this will turn our string response into our Kotlin data class. We can then resume our call routine and return the list of Pokemon back to our UI. So that will be result.resume item. And this is just how you use it with call routines, but of course you can use any other sort of um, technology that you're using. And in the exception, we will just log the error. And I'll just call this API error. And we can log the error.message. String and if that fails, and if it does hit the exception, I will also want to resume my coroutine. And to do that, I'll just pass null here, and this will just state that we couldn't receive the Pokemon list item. And if we do get an error on the actual API request, I will just do the exact same thing here. And after the request, we just need to add it to the queue, which will actually execute the request. And to do that, we just need to do queue.add and pass in the request. And for the error, we just need to change this to error here so we can get the message. Now for the get Pokemon detail request, it's very similar. It's just using a parameter, which is the ID. And I'm going to copy and paste this and just make a few changes. So the URL will be exactly the same, but we will pass the ID in the URL, just like that. This will still be a get request. And the class will need to change here. So this will need to be Pokemon detail item. And that is all we need for the Pokemon detail request. I'm just going to add a log here just so we can see that this is working successfully. So we'll call this volley request. And what we'll do here is we'll print out the name of the Pokemon, which will be item. dot name and we should be able to see that in our log so i'm going to run the app now and we'll just see whether this is working so the app has just loaded up now and we can see our list of pokemon so we can see the pokemon item list request has worked correctly but let's see if the detail request has worked so if i click on bulbasaur we can see that the detail request was fired and we can see the name of the pokemon in the log and we can see all of the details come through for that Pokemon. So this is working correctly. So I'm going to end the video here guys and this is how you use Volley in Android to make your API requests. If any of you guys haven't seen the full series where I make this Pokemon app from scratch using Kotlin and NVVM then the link is in the description if you guys want to check that out. If you have any questions please post them down in the comments. Please like the video and please subscribe.